when changes becomes the reason for existence the fittest will survive this survived race became dominant over other beings we invented machines which replaced most of our efforts one of the major invention is the mobile phones which revolutionized the modern world The first handheld mobile phone was demonstrated by Dr. Martin Cooper of Motorola in 1973 using a handset weighing around 1 kg. In the 20 years from 1990 to 2011, worldwide mobile phone subscriptions grew from 12.4 million to over 5.6 billion. Privacy is one of the major attractions of mobile phones. Misuse happens there also. Mobile phone pornography, MMS scandals, vulgar private chats, etc. spread easily over mobile phones. People got detached from society by the company of cell phones. High-speed internet, high-resolution cameras, attractive applications, etc. made the cell phones more important than the dear ones. The publicity and demand of cell phones lead to the growth of many cell phone brands as well as telecom service providers. More than 5.6 billion mobile phones are used over 61 countries in the world. Mobile phones are linked to mobile phone towers in the form of radiation which are the mediators in communication. In this modern era, cell phone towers are planted like trees on earth. Major telecom companies offer 20 to 50 thousand rupees per month to the building or land owner to plant their tower. The danger is covered by money. If there is an advantage, there will be a disadvantage also. Continuous exposure of radiations can heat human tissue, and likewise, it damages living tissues. Several studies have shown cell phones reduce male as well as female fertility. In males, significant reductions in sperm count up to 30% and viability in heavy cell phone uses. Mobile phone usage of pregnant women directly affects themselves as well as the fetus. The chance of deformities, abnormal brain function and cancer that may develop in later life of the child. WHO now admits that mobile phones may increase the risk of brain tumors. The continuous exposure of radiations can cause genetic changes in plants, trees, microorganisms, insects and animals due to accumulated damage to the DNA. Cell phones became the inevitable part of our day-to-day -day life. Considering the risk factors, the only thing that we can do is find solutions and take precautions against it. The radiation which is coming from the uh, mobile phones, we find out that um, there are so many conflicting reports. Some say that there is a definite link between radiation and tumors of the brain like acoustic neuroma. It is very closely uh, related tumor to the ear. So, Uh, all, although there are so many reports which say that there is absolutely no no uh, link between uh, radiation from the mobile phones and the tumor, but all said and done, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, what uh, we advise to the patients is that they can go on replacing uh, the mobile phones to a better quality one. Doesn't uh, emit much of radiation. You can see the radiation seal, and uh, you can get to know how much radiation the mobile phone emits. And you can go on changing the ear. Don't put the mobile phones only in one ear. and you can use bluetooth headsets bluetooth headsets have uh, are radio waves they pick up radio waves and in that you don't need to have mobile phones very close to you so you can you know uh, keep the mobile phones away from away from yourself and uh, uh, the exposure to, uh, to the radiation may be minimized at least theoretically and while sleeping or while at home it's better to always use a landline the landline phones are quite clear and they don't obviously emit so much radiation as the mobile phones another thing which you should see is that the mobile phone should be in an area where the signal strength is very good because when the signal strength is low the mobile phones will is known to emit more of radiation that will cause more problems and another very interesting thing which we have uh, patients complaining that uh, when they use mobile phones for a long time the part when which they are using the mobile phones that part that ear becomes a little 
uh, hot or warm and then at that time they have a little pain or electrical sensation like a shock so that could be attributed to mobile phones generally mobile phones will obviously reduce the concentration spell and will always cause problems so it's better to limit the use to uh, only emergencies and not for a long time and landline phones are obviously better than mobile phones but of course mobile phones are good aid in communication so you can use it uh, judiciously and that will be uh, better in the long run we can limit the use of cell phones and keep calls short children should not be allowed to use a cell phone because of the thin skulls the radiation can penetrate much more deeply wear an air tube headset instead of regular wired headset the regular wired headset has been found to intensify radiation into the ear canal do not put the cell phone in a pocket or a belt while in use or where it is on do not use the cell phone in enclosed metal space such as vehicles or elevators where devices may use more power to establish connection avoid using low cost china phones which emits higher radiations minimum distance of people from cellular phone base station should not be less than 300 meter keep cell phone off most of the time cell phone use should be minimized during pregnancy Wi-Fi and DECT baby alarms should be avoided. Further build-up of mobile phone networks must be stopped. Everything have two faces. We should learn, utilize the good and eliminate the bad to save the world.